Good morning. It is 6.50 a.m. I don't know if that's rain or if those are just like bugs. You can't really see it on there. Anyways, today we're headed down to Dixon Lake and we should be trying to get into white partridge as well. Um, the lake is calm today, which is great. It is spitting slightly. Um, clouds are looking light, so we're just gonna, we've already packed up, so we're just gonna eat and then be on our way. It is eight o'clock on Thursday morning. It's raining, but we're leaving. Here we go. <laughs> so we made it to the 90 meters from Lavier to Dixon. Now there is a lovely little waterfall right there, which is kind of cool. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, so when we were coming out of this way, there's two people that were heading out to um, Lavier. They said that this portage was actually really easy. Um, and the one to Opiango was hard. We're not going that way anyways. We're going off to um, Little Dixon and then over to White Partridge. So that's going to be hard for us because that's kind of, it's a long one and it's black, which usually means unmaintained or unserviced or whatever like that, but it's probably okay. Um, and there is a part where it says we must walk along a beaver dam and we will get wet. So, I mean, we're already wet from this morning, so it really doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so that took 18 minutes to get from the site to here, and we're going to be going across this 90 right now. We're at the other end of the 90 meter portage, Dixon Lake from Lavier. Um, what, what's the point of that dock over here? Like, look at me. How am I supposed to get over there? I got a fucking canoe on my head here. Why are you going over here? Because I can. I made it. Whew. Oh yeah, it's stable. As stable as I am. So we made it to the 890 meter portage from Dixon Lake into Cisco Bay, which is right behind us, um, into Little Dixon Lake. That's where we're going now, 890. Um, so it rained basically the whole entire time. And I said to Amanda, I said, I bet you when we get to the portage, it'll stop. There you go. So that took us an hour and 33 minutes by my thing, but I stopped um, to get here, which is actually great time. So. On the water, we do good. Then we're going to have a little break. She's wet. Human. We're not sugar, so we didn't melt. Are you okay? Did you get that? Yes. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm good, don't worry. Oh, that could have been so bad. Yes, are you, but you're okay. No, no, no I'm good, don't worry. I, was I watched your footing, how you were like going like that. Yeah. And I was like doing the same thing. I'm like, okay, just take tiny steps. Woo. Oh, that was scary. That was scary. Oh, my God, scary. Oh, that could have been so worse. Yeah. 890. Little Dixon to Dixon Lake on the other side after I almost killed myself. I didn't find that portage to be too bad. It was, it was a lot of white pines and stuff. What'd you think? Uh, it was one of the more challenging ones we've done, I thought. Did There's you? Ups and downs, roots, rocks. Oh, that's true. There was that one point where we went up and I'm like, what the fuck? Um, did you think I was gonna die there? <laughs> I definitely was scared. <laughs> oh, it's still raining though. Yeah. I'll help. So here we are at the portage from Little Dixon to Sandasa, I believe it is. 
It is a big 2,685. Uh, yeah, there we go. This wood lake wasn't too bad. It took us about 20 minutes to get from one side to the other side, so. And it has uh, stopped raining, sort of. Clouds look a lot better. Are you excited about this? No. Not at all? Neither am I. So here's a beaver dam that they said you will get wet on when walking on top. Basically, it's right. You will. My shoes are wet anyway, so I don't care. What a treat! So this is what Staple Lake looks like um, when you are on the portage from Little Dixon to whatever the place is. I forget now. Anyways, this is a pretty tall uh, beaver dam. We crossed there. We came down that hill. Just came back to show you what it looked like. Hi. How did you like that? Um buggy buggy and very muddy very buggy and these old things that they have i don't know it was just it was the muddiest trail i've been on and the rockiest and at the end you had to crawl up this rock thing and it took us an hour though an hour to do that whole thing so that's not too bad it looks like it's spinning again Whoa. sun's coming out it's beautiful we're going across sun dancer See, it's Sundanza, that's why. Sundanza, Sundasa, whatever. So we are at the portage from Sundasa Lake, that's what this is, to White Partridge, Partridge? White Partridge Lake. It is signed 915, but I think it's like 1135 and something. Whatever, that's what the map says. Um, this lake isn't actually that bad. It's got a loon, resident loon. But look over in this back corner here. Yeah, there's some fall colors happening on those uh, trees there. We were just ignoring them because we didn't want to see them. Um, I don't know if you can see the loon. Right, um, right here. That's where the loon is. He's just hanging out. This trip has all been about loons. Like everywhere we go, there's a loon somewhere. Like loon here, loon there. There's tons of loons. We are at the end of the portage. It took us 23 minutes to go that one, one, three, five. Amanda's getting in. It is buggy. That's, oh yeah, I haven't unta unattached it there. That's true. So, um, oh, there's my finger in the thing. So it took 23 minutes to get here. We're on the water right away because, um, too buggy. All the bugs, yeah. They're just, they don't care about bug spray apparently. This is the lake we are on. So we're gonna head to the other side of the lake because though that is um, the side we want to be on to hopefully see a sunset, fingers crossed. This is the view from our site on White Partridge Lake. We are on the east side of the lake. We are on a rock. This rock is amazing. This rock is going to be like our fun rock. There's Amanda, here's the site. The site is actually really open which is actually kind of cool. Uh, the bench is to something else to be desired though. Um, it's literally for like one person and, and you can move it. So we'll probably end up moving it because it's close to the fire. But there is a kitchen table or a kitchen over there, which is kind of nice. Here is the site, washrooms back there. And there's a tent pad right there. And then a tent pad up on the hill. And I believe there's one on, so I guess you could use this as a tent pad, but whatever. Um, yeah, so we just got here. We're gonna unpack, set up the tents. We had something to eat. There's the fire. It's actually kind of cool. Not too bad, so. So it is about 3.15 here. Amanda's getting some water. Prepped the fire. Trying to clean some of the rocks out there. Kind of piled them up there. Cleaned out around here a little bit more. So we've got the fire started there. We've got the next sticks to go there, and then we've got the pile of stuff there. Now, this there was a lot left for us, so we found some, broke some, 
most of that we found um some of this we found we broke but there's a huge amount right here so i'm gonna pile this up in between these trees a little nicer put that piece there on top so that if it does rain the other stuff doesn't get wet and that'll be for like the next person and they're gonna have that huge stack there because we're not gonna need all of that but our much anticipated sunshine has gone away replaced with a dark scary cloud that clearly is dumping rain over there hopefully it dissipates and we get that pretty pretty blue sky behind it and it is four o'clock and we're back inside the tents because it's raining now it's only raining lightly so hopefully this passes by there is some thunder and some dark clouds over in that direction but for right now it's just light so we were in the tent at 408 because it was raining here's what the lake looks like now we have blue skies it's beautiful now over there is the storm there was some loud thunder rumbles across the lake and stuff like that it was kind of cool but now blue sky and hopefully it stays that way it is 5 18 in the afternoon amanda just went back to change we went swimming oh it's a beautiful afternoon after that storm so went swimming washed their shoes got all clean now we're just warming warming up and drying things off so we went swimming, we came back in and changed. We're starting supper. And now look at the sky over there. All of a sudden it got really dark. Our sunshine went away. It just got super windy here. We were lying on this rock, and now the waves are coming up on it. That is crazy. Look at this lake. So, <laughs> so it is eight o'clock. This is what the lake looks like now. The storms have kind of moved on, we think. The sun is setting over there. The wind has died down after that crazy windstorm that we had. And this is what we get to look at. But we're tired and we're probably going to bed soon because Amanda's old. <laughs>